Today we're opening rare forbidden legacy blister packs. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and we have two Forbidden Legacy Blister Packs and these I got at Collecticon Charlotte. This was an awesome pickup, by the way, they were not 825. A guy came up to our booth that I had with Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! and a couple others and was like, hey, you guys wanna buy sealed stuff? And, I, and they were like, hold up, Forbidden Legacy. And I was like, I'll take them. So I bought them for, I think 160 each is what he wanted for them. So I was like, that's pretty good price. Actually lower than like I would normally get them. So like, I'll get that and open them for this video. But before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Archlord Chris yeah, all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite thing about these Forbidden Legacy blisters, and let's get into it. Today, I want to tell you guys about a new app that I've been working with as an ambassador. This app is called Collector. Collector is basically an app that allows you to carry your entire collection in your pocket. All you have to do is add your cards on there, and Collector will keep track with price changes for you. So if something like an LOB booster box that you own is worth about $5,000, if there's a sale on eBay for like $8,000, it'll bump up to $8,000, and it'll show on your portfolio. I'm not going to personally show you mine because you know I don't want to uh, reveal what I have. <laughs> if you've always wanted to know what your collection is worth, but you didn't want to have like a complicated spreadsheet to like keep up with like price changing and all that stuff, this is for you. I mean, it's really simple. I personally use this app and it's the reason I got involved with it. So if you guys think it's cool and you're interested in it, it's completely free. Check out the link down below and just download it. That's all you got to do. It's on Android and iOS. And I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. Well, let's get back to the video. All right, before we actually start the opening, I got a couple of things that I want to show you guys. One is this pickup from YCS Charlotte. You guys saw this in the vlog very briefly, but I just want to check these out for a second time real quick before we hop into it because these cards are really beautiful. All right, so we have three amazing amazing pickups and we did get a slight discount based on the price combined because I bought some stuff with yu gi -Mo as well so we bought like over two thousand dollars worth of cards you guys will see that on his video whenever he posts it and whenever he grades them so we got a little bit of a discount which was nice let's see how these look in person so they do have some whitening at the top that was like the major issue which I mean it's not even major it's very slight the foil looks pretty awesome I mean this card looks absolutely amazing really nice it, it like has some like almost not waves but like you can really see the texture of the card. It's very interesting. The centering is not very great on this thing. The back was super clean though. Like you don't even know this is an ulti. There's no ulti stamp. Little bit of something right there. Okay. So not like completely perfect. I don't know. This was marked as lightly played though. Honestly, like really solid lightly played because like a lot of times lightly played is a lot worse than this. So this is probably like near mint in my opinion. I just want to check these out one more time before, of course, we submit some of them. I don't know if we'll submit that cyber twin because it's not really PSA 10 potential. This rampart blaster on the other hand was really nice. This was also marked as lightly played centering. Pretty good. Maybe like that corner is not probably I mean, there is some whitening edge wear ish sort of stuff, but barely the surface looks amazing. Okay. There's an imprint line. Barely. That's about it. There's a little bit of stuff right in the middle. Pretty nice. I mean, this is definitely worth sending in to be graded. And this was marked as lightly played. This place was insane. Like I was like, I've never seen somebody grade like this, like without a store, like this is impressively strict. Like it's really nice for like buyers because if you buy it you're obviously not going to be upset with the condition you get and finally let's check out this ancient fairy dragon this was the, by far the most expensive one that i got uh but it's ancient fairy it's first edition it's gosher and as you guys know ancient prophecy doesn't always come in uh you know first edition it's pretty hard to get those packs so the foil looks absolutely insane centering is slightly off you can tell right there there's a corner corner issue which there normally is with ancient prophecy the back corner has that so yeah this is the major issue there which is pretty bad to be honest i mean it's not a good corner uh top left is bad as well so it's the back corner slight there honestly i might just keep i might not grade this i might put this in my binder because i did sell my psa 10 that i got so i don't actually have this for the binder right now and i would consider this near mint because this is out of the you know out of the pack and if you don't know that you might say well it's not near mint anyway but like for me knowing the ancient prophecy it's really really hard to get these we'll keep this as a, probably the binder copy, which is a really nice binder copy for the collection. And also I wanted to show that I picked up this world's participation prize card thing. It's like a sort of a prize card, but I think all you have to do is go to worlds to get this. But uh, somebody hit me up and they had this and I really, I was like, okay, this is a pretty cool card and it's pretty cheap for what it, like what this kind of card is. So I was like, yeah, I'll pick it up. So just wanted to throw that in this video real quick so you guys could see it. All right, we have delayed long enough. Let's get into the opening. I do have like four mini boxes worth of Ghost from the Past, like 16 packs. We're going to see if we can pull another Ghost Rare as well and with these uh, blisters. So I think this should be pretty fun. Christian Hawk Fibrex, very good sign. I recorded so many people opening Ghost from the Past at the event and nobody pulled a Ghost Rare. I know a couple of people actually pulled a ghost rare but it was not a lot so 
Yeah, uh, the luck was not really there this weekend when it came to Ghost Rider. I just missed the recording, of course, when a couple people actually did pull it, but it was pretty rough. Why am I opening so many of these? So there's only uh, there's only eight packs or 16 packs. So Fernity Pawn, we've got the uh, Fossil Machine Convoy. Now let's go into the blister. Let's open this thing up. There's a few things to note about this blister that I'll talk about when we get it open. So out of the blister, you get SRL, you get MRD and LOB, as long as the Pop Tart Pack, as I like to call it. It is very difficult to get these out without bending them. Hopefully I didn't bend it on the way out but we'll see so as we're opening this we're going to talk about the differences between a master collection which came out in 2004 or 5 i always get this confused but one of the years these cards were when they changed the qualifier in the bottom right like the set qualifier to include en so right here it says srl en so if you open something from before this there was no en so if you open like let's say a 10 from 2003 then that would ha not have en that might have srl but it won't have en actually i don't think that would have srl that would say spell rule and then be mrl i think very confusing or would it be it, it changes up so much but let's just get into this i will try and remember what i'm talking about because there's so many different versions here let's go with the stone ogre grotto we got the gaia power so inside, this is one of the only places to get SRL EN. There's also Master Collection 1, I believe, that you can get it there. So there's not a lot of ways to get this, which is pretty cool. Chain Energy. It's only unlimited, by the way. High Tide Gyojin. We get the Labyrinth Wall. The Liquid Beast. House of Adhesive Tape. The Ryu Ran. Very cool. And a Black Pendant. So we have an SRL-EN Black Pendant. So this is a very niche collectible. Some people really like these ENs because they're very specific and difficult to find. And uh, there's a Black Pendant. Very cool. So a quick recap. I think in 2002, it would say MRL-whatever the set number is. Then in 2003, they have they change it to SRL. So it was MRL for a little bit. Then they change it to SRL-whatever. Then after that, they made it SRL-EN. Then they changed it back to SRL in the reprints. This is more confusing with Magical or because it changed names and everything. So there's just a lot of things changing, but it makes things pretty cool. Okay, I was, let's let's go into a Ghost in the Past before we go to Metal Raiders. But yeah, it, if you can wrap your brain around that, it's pretty specific, but it's pretty cool if you want to get into like collecting the niche stuff. It's cool, cool to understand that stuff. So we got a Rise of Very Cool Vampire Sucker and Vampire Takeover. Very nice. Let's continue on. So another one, see what we can pull. Yeah, even me, sometimes I'm just like, what, what am I talking about again? There's so many different things, and it's just like, maybe it was that year, maybe it actually was this. Yeah, you got to really ref keep a refresher on all this stuff if you're going to forget. Metal Raiders, this is one of my favorite sets, or my favorite set, I should say. I have pulled a Gate Guardian EN out of here before. So I've had good luck. I've also pulled Trihorn to EN and graded a 10. I've also graded a Blue Eyes to, uh, EN, but I never actually pulled that one. All right, Dream Clown, very nice. That's a gauge card. We got a Musician King. Protector of the Throne. Lejurai Gumo. This is a very cool card. Ground Attacker, Bugroth. Not Bugroth. I figured it out. I know the name. King of Yami Makai. A Leo Gun. Okay, okay. Ancient Elf. Is it the next one? Will it be Summon Skull? Oh, it'll be Mass Sorcerer, though. This is a weird one because it like uh, it's like the opposite of Right Magical Hat. You get to draw if you inflict battle damage, so it's just kind of the worst version. Okay, let's do another Ghost from the Past before we hop into the Legend of Blue Eyes and the Pop-Tart Pack. I'm pretty excited to see those. So we've got the Chimeratic Rampage. Oh, wait, let's just rock some special those two. And go DDD Divine King Rage. All right, very cool, but not what we're looking for. We are looking for this LOB pack, though. Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's see if the guy who sold this to the booth sent us anything good in these packs, or they could just be duds, but that's okay. Beaver Warrior, very cool, let's do this. We've got a Hitotsumi Giant, Laser Cannon Armor, the Petite Angel, Furious Seeking, the Beaver Warrior yet again, Petite Dragon, Root Water, Drooling Lazard, and Akumador. When you see that normal, you're like, ah, an LOB, you think it's something, and it's it's not. That's fine. One more goes from the past. Let's see if this will bless us with something amazing. Hope you guys are enjoying this video today. A little bit different. A lot of, lot of random stuff in here. We got a number 38. This is kind of like the old school videos that I used to do. I used to like do a million different things in one video. Kind of fun. Nostalgic for me. I don't know about you guys. You probably didn't watch back then, but Baxia. This is in Sword Soul. It just got a deck of that. And an Outburst Dragon. Very cool. Track back and Deskbot 001. On to the Pop-Tart Pack. Inside, you can get Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Karibo, and that's it. There's three options. So, they're secret rares. So, let's see what we can get. Obviously, Blue Eyes is the best one. That's the one we want. Karibo, we don't really want. Let's see if we can not reveal it. I think it shows you right away. Let's go like this. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. We figured it out. It's this way. Also, quick shout out to my Twitch. I've been streaming every single day, basically. So, this feels like... Oh, this definitely got bent. I wonder if that was me. I don't think that was me. I think it's just how, how it was bent. I don't know. Oh, and it's a Dark Magician. So these 
are very difficult to find in nice condition these days because even if you open one, this is going to happen. So we got to be really careful when we open these. I don't think I did that, but it is possible that I did do that. But once again, go check out my Twitch channel. We've been streaming like five days a week. It's been awesome. We've been doing Master Duel and uh, Nuzlocke content. Link's in the description. Go check it out. All right, that's a really cool pull, but unfortunately, it's literally creased. So we're going to have to be extremely careful to avoid any extra damage when we open these up. Elemental Hero Nias Kluger, very cool. But let's just go ahead and get straight into it. I'm going to do this off camera very carefully that we don't destroy anything. All right, I used scissors, and I think we got this out even more effectively this time. So if it's bent this time, it's definitely not my fault. But uh, we're, we're going to do what we can. Let's go one more ghost from the past two, and then let's hop into that spell ruler right away. We got DD Swirl Slime, Void Cauldron, and we've got the Mardell. Okay, Mardell. All right, we're not really helping us out too much. Let's go into the spell ruler. We'll save Pop-Tart for later. Spell ruler EN. So far, we've gotten one foil. The guardian of the throne room, aka the little brother of the slot machine. Very nice. We got the fire kraken. Dark witch. Curse of fiend. Crab turtle. The guardian of the throne room, aka the little brother. The labyrinth wall. Liquid beast. House of adhesive tape. And... Oh, a Serpent Night Dragon! Secret Rare! E-N! Oh my goodness, that is insane! What a great pull! That is awesome! Serpent Night Dragon E-N! So I'm wondering, can you even get... I guess you can get Blue Eyes 2 and E-N, can you? Back in the day, it would be Hobby Retail, but I'm pretty sure you can get an E-N of both versions. So you must just be able to pull either Secret Rare out of here. Yeah, because I pulled Gate Guardian out of one. So I guess you can get both starting in the E-N packs. That's pretty cool. All right, that's pretty sick. Let's do the Pop-Tart pack next. I think we're going to do that because there's only three options. We've already pulled Dark Magician. So really, we're just looking for Blue Eyes. Let's see what we can pull in the Pop-Tart pack before we go into LOB or MRD. All right, let's do this. Oh, that wasn't it. It's the next. Flip it over. This one doesn't look bent, so maybe we, maybe we bent the last one. Oh, and it's a Karibo. Okay, so this is the worst one, but even Karibo Secret Rare is still pretty sick. We will take that. 2004 or 5 Karibo. Can't remember which one. Pretty clean on this one. I hope we didn't bend that one, but... Uh, it's two different blisters, so maybe it was just bent on the other one. All right, we're saving MRD for last because that's my favorite. Let's go Legend Blue Eyes. So far, uh, Spell Ruler is doing all the work. That's literally pulled everything. The other two have pulled nothing. Let's go. Can we pull? What do we want to pull from LOB? Obviously, Blue Eyes, um, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Exodia. Any of those would be amazing. Um, pretty much any foil is awesome. We got the Violet Crystal. Very cool. Dark King of the Abyss. Very nice. The Fiend Reflection number two. The witty fandom. He's witty. Dressed in a night black tuxedo, this creature presides over the darkness. Okay, how is he witty then? He's just presiding. All right. Kagamusha. Very nice. Machine Conversion Factory. Flame manipul manipul Manipulator. And... Oh, a fusionist. Okay, that's good because you probably didn't see the part where I tried to read the witty phantom and could not read it. So um, if you did, if it was a cut, you know, and we pulled like a blue eyes, it'd be like, well, this is awkward. <laughs> All right. Final pack. Wait, why am I doing the final pack? We had more ghosts from the past. I forgot about it. Oh, well, I guess this is the final pack. I mean, we're, we got to end with this. All right, let's see what it is. Totally forgot about ghosts from the past. Maybe for another video. All right, sort of deep seated. Let's go. Pump King, the King of Ghosts. My, my brain's all over the place today. Guiltia, the D Knight. Very cool. Electric Lazard. Armored Zombie. He's got armor. And zero defense. That armor is not very good. Flame Cerberus. Very nice. Battle Steer. Very cool. Hayusube. And... Oh, a Magician of Faith. That's actually pretty sick. Okay. Moth is a very, very cool card. While it is just a rare, it's still really awesome. So we will take that. Forbidden Legacy treated us fairly well. We got a Secret Rare. We got a Moth. That's pretty nice. We got a... Yeah, the secret rares weren't great because we didn't get the blue eyes and one was bent, but overall, a pretty solid opening. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Might, Nance, Mimic Gecko, Draxtreme, Moose Jr. Barding, and then the Tai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Josh Evans, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, John Nolan, and Brett Palmer. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.